Okay, now I want you to meet a recent graduate from the App Academy. Never heard of it? <laughs> well, I didn't either until a little while ago. Now, this is a place where you could go to learn computer programming, web development, or whatever, and it only takes nine weeks. You'll work like heck for nine weeks, like 80 hours a, <laughs> a week or more. Uh, but you don't need a college degree. You just need sort of like an aptitude for um, uh, computers, and they qualify you in the beginning and it costs you nothing. Okay, so it's free training until you get a job. See, once you get a job, then you pay. Now, after nine weeks of training though, you get a job making like $90,000. That's what the starters get. This is why there's so much demand now for people who know how to, uh, you know, computer program or make it, uh, applications, you know, because they need web developers so badly in this country. It's like healthcare. You know, being a nurse, you can go about two years and make 50 grand. Well, here you can go for nine weeks and make like a hundred thousand dollars, and they'll pay for the education for you. And actually, what it does is it, it you get it on the salary. So once you get a job, you don't pay until you get a job, but once you get a job, then they get like 18% of what you make. You know, wow, I mean, you can't beat that, right? If you never get a job, then it costs you nothing, you got all that talent, and they have an office in. Uh, uh, one in New York City and one in San Francisco, and every week they're starting new classes. Okay, so it sounds like a wonderful opportunity <laughs> if you have a uh, you know a knack for you know computer programming or whatever. You know, check it out. App Academy. More importantly, watch this film. Now, I interview. He's a graduate, making over that now. You know that ninety thousand dollars. But he used to be a gambler <laughs> from Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio, and he was a professional gambler for many years—five, eight, nine years, or whatever—until the government shut down all these gambling sites, and he couldn't make enough money. And but you hear his story and how he failed at first, and it took him a couple of years to learn how to make money online, even playing poker. And then you know he started like working 24 hours a day trying to figure this out. It took him months and months and months until he made any money at all. And then another year before he was just making minimum wage, and then he making tons of dough. And he was on his holiday for his um, honeymoon, and the government shut everybody down. So he had to tell his wife on his honeymoon. Honey, we have no money. So he came back, started a company that didn't go well, and then he's on this app academy. Went to there, and now he's doing terrific. Working at home, being an app developer, <laughs> nine weeks, and you're making a hundred. I mean, it's a hundred thousand dollars a year. Watch this. Well, Chris Fields, man, <laughs> you were a professional gambler making all this money, and you gave it up for a love of making apps now, right? <laughs> But more importantly, I mean, you're one of the first graduates from this App Academy where you go for nine weeks, you learn how to make applications, you don't need an engineering degree or anything, and they train you so you can get a job for 90,000 bucks. And the way you pay for the school is by, they just take a, like what, is the first 18% of your salary for a year or something like that? Uh, yeah, I believe that is what they're doing yeah. right now. They actually had a slightly different model when we joined. Um, actually, our, our inaugural class got a, got a complete pass on paying anything. Wow! <laughs> it really was free! It was. Yeah, I think uh, we were the guinea pigs for their, for their class. They were working out the kinks, so they uh, didn't charge us. They only got paid if we happened to get a job at one of the companies they had partnerships with. I see. Which, as far as I know, only two, I think one or two students did. So they didn't make a lot their first couple months. Yeah, wow. So, but basically their model is you, you attend the, their school and they have a, a venting process, right? So not everybody applies gets in. You have to have some aptitude for this, but you don't need a degree. They train you like hell. You work like hell for six weeks, right? <laughs> yes. And then when you graduate, you either get a job for like a, most people graduate, get a job for 90 grand a year. And then they take like the 18% of the first year salary or something like that. Yes. Yeah, well, that's cool. I mean, you could pay like $13,000 up front if you want. Right. Yeah, I think if you're planning on doing your own business, then I think they charge you 12 or 13 uh, out of your own pocket. Um, obviously, you're not going to get a job, so 
<laughs> but here's a great way for people if they're interested in becoming a computer programmer and actually probably no matter what age you just have talent try to get in here because you don't have to worry about paying for anything and you get a great job after nine weeks where else are you going to get a job for 90 grand a year man <laughs> yeah it definitely is a, a an amazing once in a lifetime opportunity if you can get in and it's it's definitely worth uh, applying if you think you have the aptitude and the desire to do it and now I see they have two places, uh, San Francisco and New York, and they're starting new classes every week. Yeah, they're growing really quick. Yeah, so this, and that's because you said because of demand? Yeah, the demand uh, for developers is definitely a lot higher than the supply right now. So, uh, which is why you can get such a high salary after only nine weeks of... Uh, nine weeks of training. Maybe they'll have brain surgery like that. Yeah, nine weeks become a brain surgeon. <laughs> Make nine... <laughs> yeah, I also hope that the demand for brain surgeons isn't that high that everyone's right. needing brain surgery. <laughs> it's how the demand. Th I mean, to me, the other neat option to me was always, boy, I know you could go to community college for two years, become a nurse, and make like fifty grand at least in the Washington D.C. area. I mean, it's just great. So here you go for you know nine weeks and, and make a hundred grand and get it paid for too. Wow. I mean, that's just among the most incredible deals I think America has. <laughs> it, it really is. It's an amazing opportunity. Yeah. But tell us a little bit more about how you went from a professional gambler or how you became a professional gambler and then had to give it all up. I mean, that's a cool story. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, that happened a while ago uh, when I became a, a, a ten, nine, ten years ago. Um, I watched the movie Rounders. Oh, yes. <laughs> and I thought, well, that looks fun. I wonder if I can find somewhere <laughs> online to do that. And I found somewhere that let you play for free. Uh, so I, I, uh, I, I didn't have any money. So I, I just found somewhere that played for free. And they had these tournaments called free rolls where if you won, they'd give you like 10 bucks. Ah. I won a couple of those. I took the money and I started playing at the real tables. And I just grinded it out for until I started to make a really good salary. Now, you, when you, this is all online. You were playing like poker online? And then eventually I started to go uh, around the world to play at big tournaments. But I, most of my play was online. Wow. And even now, you said then it came to a time where the, the IRS didn't want the government or didn't want Americans to play in this stuff anymore, right? Yeah, the Department of Justice uh, had the FBI seize the domain names of the top three poker sites that uh, offered poker to the U.S. players, um, which basically and then basically held our money hostage for a while. Wow. Um, and if you happen to play at Poker Stars, you got your money back. Actually, from the other two, you still haven't got your money back, even though it's years later. And this happened. When did you find out about this? Where were you? <laughs> I was on my honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> and you had to tell your new wife what when you found that out? I told my wife that uh, we didn't have any money anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, all our money was frozen. Uh, the government. <laughs> Oh, that's terrific. So now, so you came back and you started uh, your own business, right? Yeah. Uh, so I decided to try to do my own business for uh, a while, um, which was developing. I taught myself uh, a little bit of Python, basically what I needed to build the site as opposed to learning the more fundamentals of it. Um, but there were so many pitfalls and I was hitting them all and <laughs> I was going into debt uh, to my family. Uh, so after a while I was fairly far in debt and then uh, we found out that my wife was pregnant. And that was a pretty big oh, turning point. I, I decided I, I decided to give it a, maybe another month or two and if I couldn't turn the business around I needed to find something else because I didn't want to be unemployed when <laughs> my son was born. Uh, and that's when uh, my brother emailed me about uh, a similar, something similar to the App Academy. And I, you know, I did some research and I found the App Academy and that one seemed like a great fit for me. So I applied and oh. got in. Wow. That, that's, uh, and it was free. And if you took a normal job, you'd make $90,000 a year. So I imagine you're making more now because you don't, <laughs> you didn't take the job. Uh, but that, that's just a, a remarkable story and, and how your resourcefulness to me and also finding these opportunities just by being inquisitive and looking around and applying. Um, and the important thing about your lesson too, I think, is that how that business failed. Yeah. And so it, it didn't stop you. You knew, you know, you just kept going, right? Yeah. You got to take risks in life and uh, maybe more often than not, they don't 
uh, pan out the way you expect. But if you keep going, eventually a couple of them, you hit home runs, right? <laughs> but, and to me, I feel it's usually by accident, you know? But, <laughs> but, 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 but it's not going to happen unless you keep trying, you know? That, that's it. You get a little bit. And I guess like in poker, how long did it take you before you started making money at poker? Uh, it took about three months. Then I was making maybe a quarter an hour. <laughs> and that's working 24 hours a day, right? <laughs> I was working, yeah, pretty much every hour, every every waking hour. Uh, you know, I was making 25 cents an hour. <laughs> but another three months later, I was making, you know, minimum wage. Three months after that, I was making like 30 an hour. And wow. I just kept going until I was making a couple hundred an hour. Wow. Well, see, so you taught yourself. So. <laughs> but it's harder to do that in the States now, right? Uh, yeah, to play poker. Yeah. It's uh, really hard now. I mean, the game is much harder because a lot of people started to uh, learn how to do it well. There's actually um, online courses to learn how to play poker. And so it just brought the level of play way up. And then now it's so, it was so, it got really hard to play online because of various um, interventions by the government that the only people that were willing to play were really good players. I see. Huh? So, so there weren't a lot of sitting ducks out there anymore. It was sharks playing against sharks after a while. <laughs> and that's dangerous waters. <laughs> so what would your advice to me to someone, hey, hey, you know, what kind of principles do you live by that, you know, even after you fail and stuff like that, that you keep finding a way to come back even better? Uh, it's all about having res being a resilient person, right? You have to be... Uh willing to dust yourself off, get back up on the horse and try again. Just keep going, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, and that's, I mean, to me, it's a surprise that you could find a place, you know, with no background in you know, programming or engineering or any of those degrees and find out how to get a job after six or nine weeks for $90,000, right? Well, good for you. It's an exciting story and uh, you're a wonderful person, and that little child you told me, showed me earlier, looks... <laughs> He's going to have a lot to learn from Papa now. <laughs> so. I hope I can teach him well. Yeah, well, thank you so much, Chris, for sharing all this with us. Well, Chris, we forgot to tell people about your app, <laughs> and it's free! People go to the App Store, right, and get your app called Trifacta, and that's a free app, right? Correct. And what's it like? What's the game? Uh, it, it's a game. It's really similar to um, Bejeweled or Candy Crush. Uh, something that uh, somebody that I went through the App Academy uh, oh. with, uh, her and I built together uh, in a couple weeks right after it and put it in the App Store. So be good for people though, you know, see how good, the, you know, what you can become in just nine weeks going to App Academy, go to the App Store and get Trifecta and download trifecta and you'll see what you could be doing in nine weeks and also be making 90,000 bucks a year too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or in other places your website is r and d oh no r and k labs.com right and that's how to find you right well there more app developers are going to be looking for you to help them do their apps. <laughs> well, thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you. See, there's all kind of opportunities in America. You gotta keep digging, keep trying. And, and you hear from him, the name of the game is you keep trying. Nobody knows the answer. And the answer is really different for all of us. But the most important thing is that you, you, you fall, you get your butt up again, and you just try something else. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't hurt to try. And look at that, you go to school for free.